Psych educational psychology is an important and useful subject that is often included in the curricula of teacher education programs. Uh, this is mainly because of the importance of psychology for teachers, for students, and for other stakeholders in the field of education. Educational psychology is basically uh, an applied branch of psychology. So what is educational psychology and what is the scope of educational psychology? These are the questions that we will briefly respond to. First, uh, educational, uh, before we go and explore the, the meaning of educational psychology, Briefly, what is psychology? Psychology is the study or science of behavior. And so this, uh, because behavior consists of our thinking and feelings and actions. Uh, so we can say that the systematic or scientific study of, th of our thinking and feelings and actions um, can be can be called psychology. Now, educational psychology is the branch of applied psychology that deals with the study of human behavior, but in educational contexts. So general, generally, psychology deals with behavior in, in any social context. But educational psychology specifically focuses on the human behavior, especially the behavior of students, teachers, and other educational stakeholders in educational context, that is in schools, colleges, universities, and so on. So um, we can say that this is the branch of psychology that deals with issues um, related to teaching, learning, relationships um, among uh, stakeholders in the educational context, curricula, management, and assessment, etc. Now, um, to go further and to explore the, uh, the scope of educational psychology, uh, we, can, we can say that educational psychology uh, deals with issues in educational context related to students. So, first of all, um, understanding <clears throat> the uh, mental makeup of, of students, the behavior of students, the way students uh, interact with others in educational context, uh, the way students learn, the way students make relationships, the personalities of students, um, and so on. These are the aspects of of related to students that comes in the scope of educational psychology. Similarly, teachers um, uh, is a group of another group of stakeholders in educational contexts. And so psychological aspects of the teacher's role in educational contexts, such as the teacher's personality, the teacher's way of thinking, teacher's teaching styles, teacher's um, interaction with students, um, and so on. Uh, teacher's thinking about the whole educational process, um, teacher's behavior inside and outside the classroom. These are the factors related to teachers that come under the scope of educational psychology. Then curriculum. Uh, the educational psychology, educational psychology also has in its, in its scope um, uh, the aspects related to the process of curriculum development, the what, why, and how of the process of, of curriculum, the way the curriculum is actually developed and implemented and evaluated, and so what psychological aspects uh, uh, come in, in this process, these are the things that, uh, that come in the scope of educational psychology. Similarly, 
the aims of education in terms of especially the personality development of the students um, is also so so the aims of education one of the, the biggest aims of education is to focus on the personality development of the students and so as a result these aims come under the scope of the educational psychology um, then teaching um, so the 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 scope of educational psychology also includes the way teaching play, takes place in educational institutions the again the what why and how of the teaching process um, and aspects related to the effectiveness of of teaching process such as the motivation of students the motivation strategies used by teachers and similarly the preparation of students so the readiness of students to learn particular subjects uh, the timings of of teaching of particular subjects and so on so the whole teaching process uh, uh, comes in the scope of educational psychology again learning learning is one of the central uh, focuses of the of the field of educational psychology um, we have several learning theories that have been developed by educational psychologists such as theories by the behaviorist behaviorist school of psychologists and similarly the cognitivist school of psychologists and there are then those who belong to the social uh the social psychological school of psychologists uh who come up with different theories related to the process and the outcomes of the process of learning the effectiveness of the process of learning and so again this is something that comes in the scope of educational psychology assessment is an important aspect that comes under the scope of the educational psychologist in the sense um, that assessment often affects the psychological uh, well-being of of students so in what ways um, does the process of assessment um, uh, impact have a, an impact on the psychological well-being of students on their motivation um, on their personality these are the things that uh, that come under the scope of educational psychology um in some cases assessment could actually impact the psychological or mental well-being of students if there is if the process of assessment is not justified or is not adequate or is not useful if the process of assessment is actually not uh, assessing the real learning of students or uh, and perhaps they are focused on the um, on memorizing uh, on actually measuring the memorization abilities or rote learning of student that can that can have similarly exam phobia or fear related to the process and 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 outcomes of the process of evaluation or examination these are the things that come under the scope of educational psychology then relationships relationships in educational contexts relationship among students relationship between students and teachers relationships between teachers and parents and teachers and the school administration um, all of these the ability of the students and the teachers or the uh, or the inability to make uh, effective useful productive relationship uh, relationships inside the educational uh, context or settings is something that comes in the scope of educational psychology so generally educational psychologists are interested in exploring the psychological uh, the elements the impact of psychological elements on relationship between uh the educational stakeholders so relationship between for example teachers and student is very important it is important for teachers and students 
to have effective, useful, productive relationships. And that will take place when there is a psychologically encouraging environment towards such relationships. And then lastly, the overall environment uh, is something that in the educational settings is very important. What, is, what, what kind of environments do we have in educational institutions? Are these in environment that are based on openness, on trust, uh, between the, for example, the teachers and students or the teachers and administration? Or is it a relationship based on fear and mistrust? So an environment of trust generally or mistrust is uh, something that is of significant importance for the educational psychologist. And so an environment that is more useful for developing good relationships, relationships of mutual uh, trust and respect is something that will help in uh, developing a more productive environment for, uh, for a more useful process of education. So these are the main aspects of the educational settings uh, that come under the fold of educational psychology.